You can build pretty much anything in this world if you know your way around right triangles. But sometimes you do need to work with non-right triangles, like with dormers. And when that's the case, you'll want to use the law of cosines like this. I want the dormer to cover 8 feet 5 inches of the main roof section, and I want the rise to be 35 inches. Now this isn't a right triangle, so I'll use the law of cosines. First I'll enter side A, 8 feet 5 inches, and square that by pushing convert percent and store that in cumulative memory. Now 35 inches for side B, square it and put it in cumulative memory, and push recall twice to add A squared and B squared. Now I'll push store 1 to put that value in memory slot 1. Now this angle is the complement of the pitch of the main roof, which is a 10-12 pitch. So I'll enter 10 inch pitch and push pitch again for the angle. Now I'm just going to use the memory function to find the complement of that angle. So there's the angle I want, and I'll push cosine and multiply that by 2, then by side A, 8 feet 5 inches, and side B, 35 inches. Now I'll store that value in memory 2 by pushing store 2. At this point I have A squared plus B squared in memory storage 1. So I'll bring that back up by pressing recall 1, and then subtract recall 2 for the second part of the equation. And the last step is to take the square root for the length of the dormer rafter.